Hi, how are you? I'm Anthony from Cypher House Escape, and today I'm back with another video that was suggested by a viewer of my channel. Today's suggestion came from Katia over on Facebook, and it reads, It would be really interesting to see a video explaining the different types of cryptic clues that exist. I recently released a video of myself solving a cryptic crossword puzzle, however I did mention in that video that that particular puzzle didn't really involve a large variety of types of clues. So today I've chosen 10 types of cryptic crossword clues that show up pretty often, but I thought rather than just going over the different types of clues, I'm going to try to write one example of every clue myself. And to give myself something to shoot for, I've pulled up a random word generator website. So basically for each type of cryptic clue, I'm going to generate a random word and try to come up with a cryptic clue for that word. I might have to choose a different word every now and then because some of these types just won't be possible for every single word. So let's get started with one of the most common cryptic crossword styles of clues and one that showed up a lot in the previous video that I did. Um, it's the anagram clue. An anagram clue tends to have the word inside of the clue itself somewhere, except it'll be anagrammed and sometimes split between multiple different words in the clue. So let's generate a random word. I'm just going to click this a few times and we get multimedia. Okay, so I'm going to try to make an anagram clue for multimedia. So I'm going to try using Nutramatic's anagram feature like I talked about in last video to see what kinds of anagrams I can make out of multimedia. Tail medium could work. We're also going to need definitions for all of our answers here, so I'm going to be using primarily Wiktionary for that. So I'm thinking something like sound and video being the definition, medium tail, or maybe medium with tail, and then we need some indicator word to indicate that we're taking an anagram. And at the end of cryptic clues, we should probably put the length of the answer. So here we have our anagram clue. Sound and video is the definition. Um, so I'm going to color the definitions in maybe purple. And then I'll color specific parts of the wordplay in red. So this clue, sound and video medium with tail conglomerate, is an example of an anagram clue. Medium and tail are anagrams to get the final answer of multimedia. Conglomerate is what's telling us to take that anagram, and sound and video is the definition. The next type of clue that I want to talk about is hidden word clues. Let's generate a random word for hidden word clues. Crop. So for a hidden word clue, the word typically shows up within the actual clue, but it's usually split between a couple of different words, or sometimes you'll find it wedged into the middle of a word. So here on one look, I did a search for words that have crop in the middle of them, and we see that I could use something like microphone. I think I'm going to go with the definition of harvest. And so I'm thinking a clue that's something like harvest portion of microphone. In this clue, harvest is the definition, and microphone is the part of the cryptic wordplay. Um, portion here indicates that we're taking just a part of the word microphone. So I've highlighted the word crop inside of microphone there. The third type of clue that I want to talk about is container clues. For container clues, we tend to want an answer that has a word on the outside and then a word on the inside, kind of like the outer word is holding the inner word in a container. Let's pick a random word for our container clue. Bang. Okay, I think I see what we could do with bang. So I'm going to try bang for the container clue. Um, let's get a definition from Wiktionary. I think I'm gonna use the definition strike. Now for the container clue, I'm also going to need a definition for bag. So I'm going to look one of those up now. I think I'm going to go with sack. So for the cryptic clue, I'm going to write head north in sack strike. So for this container clue, strike is the definition of bang. And sack is a definition of bag here, B-A-G. So that's part of the word play. Meanwhile, head north is telling us to take the head or the first letter of north, and then in is telling us to actually put that in the word for sack, which was bag. So we have B-A-N-G with the north 
letter inside of bag. North is frequently abbreviated with the letter N in cryptic crosswords anyway, so I probably don't need the word head here. Um, I just thought the clue sounded a little bit better if it sounded more like an instruction rather than if it just was North in sack strike. The next clue that I want to talk about is the charades style of clue. Charades clues tend to focus on splitting the answer up into parts and describing each part of the answer independently. So let's grab a random word for the charades clue. Coffee. That's a pretty good one. So I'm going to start by describing each piece of this word independently. C-O at the beginning of coffee. C-O is very frequently used as an abbreviation for company. So I might start with company. Uh, then we have the double letter F, and in musical notation, uh, the F is used to indicate that something is getting louder, and if there's two Fs, it means it's getting a lot louder. So I'm thinking company is very loud, and then we need to indicate this double E. I'm thinking for this double E, I might want to find a word that has double E as the middle part. So what would sound good here? Company is very loud inside of deep beverage. <laughs> I like that one. So let me explain what's happening here. Beverage is the definition of coffee. The cool thing about cryptic clues is because there's wordplay to help get the word as well as an actual definition, the definition itself can be a little bit more vague. Like, beverage might not be a very satisfying clue for a standard crossword, because there are, could be a lot of six-letter long beverages, but the rest of the clue here will help us isolate that coffee is the beverage that we're looking for. So I already mentioned company is abbreviated by CO, so that's the first part of the coffee clue here. Very loud is annotated in music as the double F, so that's the FF here. And then inside of deep is telling us to use actually the inner parts of the word deep, um, that double E, as the last part of our word. So charades clues tend to be a little bit more complicated than some of the previous clues that we've talked about, uh, and they tend to use multiple steps. There's also a lot of these abbreviations like company is CO and very loud is FF that tend to show up a lot in cryptic crossword puzzles. So learning those common abbreviations is part of the learning curve for solving cryptic crossword puzzles. I'll give a link to this page in the description. It's a page that I reference quite a bit for common cryptic crossword abbreviations. There are a lot of them. The next clue to talk about on my list is double definition. For a double definition clue, we literally just want to give two different definitions of the answer. Uh, for this, it's helpful if you have a word that has some flexibility in the different ways that it could be defined. So let's pick a random word for our double definition. Lot. Lot sounds like one we can do. Uh, it feels like a general enough word that there will be very different definitions for lot. The two definitions that I'm thinking of is uh, lot meaning a bunch of something, uh, but also there's lot meaning like a section of land. I think the clue could be something like a load of land. And so the two definitions are a load, like a lot, and land. And I'm going to color both of these purple actually because they're both just definitions. Clue number six that I want to talk about is initial letters. For initial letter clues, we're going to be taking the first letter of each of several different words in the clue to form our final answer. Jaw. Okay, we can work with jaw. So for a definition, we could just use something like mouth. And then basically what we need is to make jaw an acronym of some kind. We need uh, three words that start with J, A, and W that preferably sound good together in this clue. And then we need some indicator like the word initially. So maybe mouth starts judging all words. So for this clue, mouth is the definition and starts is telling us to take the first letters of these remaining words here. The first letters of judging all words spells jaw. The next clue type I wanna talk about is alternating letters. 
Alternating letters is kind of like a hidden word style of clue, except rather than the word being just directly placed inside of a clue, it'll be placed every other letter. So let's get a random word and see if we can make this work. Flash. So I basically need a word or set of words where flash is used as every other letter. So for the A-S-H, we can have something like says she. Felposh. I wonder what this is. Felposh is a grocery store chain based in Hastings, Michigan. So this might not be a very common store. I haven't heard of it before, but the cool thing about cryptic definitions is it doesn't really have to be a very common store um, because all people need to do is take every other letter of it. So I think I'm going to go with briefly see every other fell posh. <laughs> I don't know that I would choose an uncommon word like this in general while making cryptic crossword clues, um, unless there's a, a very good reason for it, but it gets the point across for what an alternating letter clue is. Here briefly C is the definition. Um, every other is telling us to take every other letter from this grocery store chain. Next, I want to talk about the clue type deletion. For a deletion clue, we need to come up with a word that's longer than our answer that we can delete part of to be left with our answer. So let's choose a random word for our deletion clue. Touch. It's usually better if the larger word has a very different definition than the word that we're trying to clue. So I'm trying to look for something other than just like touchy or touching because those have pretty much very similar definitions to the word touch. I'm trying to see if I can find something different. Ah, here we go. If we add the E to the end, we get the word touche, being an acknowledgement of a hit in fencing, or something that somebody says uh, if their rival makes a good point in an argument. So that's something that we can use. We can give a definition for touche, say remove the E, and then give the definition for touch. So I wrote the clue, contact makes good point almost. Here, contact is the definition for touch. And then makes a good point is the definition for touche. And saying almost is telling us that we are deleting that final letter of the word touche. The next clue I want to talk about is homophones. Now, as you might expect, homophone clues are going to deal with things that sound the same. Officer. Officer. Off. Is her. So we might be able to do something with officer because it sounds a little bit like the three words off, is, and her. So for this clue, I'm going to write reportedly off is her authority. So here, authority is the definition for officer. Um, reportedly is the word that's telling us that this is a homophone clue. It's telling us to consider these next words in the way that they sound rather than what they mean or any other properties of them. Which brings us to the tenth and final clue type that I want to talk about today, and that's substitutions. For substitution clues, we're usually going to be replacing a letter or a portion of our answer with a different letter to get a different word that we're going to clue in the hint. Trend. Maybe we can do something with trend. Yeah, so if we change the N in trend to an A, we get the word tread. So we're going to need definitions for both tread and trend. Trend could be a tendency, while tread could be a verb that means to walk. So I'm thinking a clue like, tendency to walk when adult is north. So in this cryptic clue, tendency is the definition. To walk is a different definition for the word tread. And then it's telling us to take the A in tread, that's what the adult stands for here, and replace it with the N from north. Um, adult and North are both common abbreviations, again, for the letters A and N, respectively. There are, of course, way more types of cryptic crossword clues that exist out there. Um, I've tried to pick some of the more common ones and uh, highlight them here. 
but don't be surprised if you're solving a cryptic crossword puzzle and you see a clue that doesn't fit into one of these categories, because there are definitely a few. Hopefully you had a good time watching me try to create my own cryptic crossword clues, and this helped to clear up some of the different kinds of clues that could exist out there. If you have ideas for puzzle-related videos that you'd like to see me create, let me know down in the comments section, and maybe I'll do some more comment-inspired videos in the future. Thank you so much for watching, have a great day, and as always, happy escaping! In case you're wondering, I didn't always get perfect words from the word generator for the specific clues I was working on, so here's some outtakes of words that I came across that didn't work for what I was working on at the time. Container clues. And we have conspiracy. Make. Well, that one's kind of short. Merit. Fruit. Writer. For a double definition clue, tasty. Advertise. Jest. Council. Homophones. Muggy. Inappropriate. Active. Let's pick a substitution word. Adventure. Integrity. Deprivation. Begin. Memorial. 